He's scared to death of Cardi B. He's scared to death of Offset. He don't want to have another running in the mall with the QC goons. Look at Adam22 supporting black women. What? Hold on, man. Me boy Adam22 talking crazy about your boy Joe Biden. Let's see what he had to say. Man, I got the podcast game on my back right now. Joe Budden had Tasha K come all the way out to Jersey and do a multiple hour interview. She was happy about it when I seen her and he's not dropping it. He's scared to death of Cardi B. He's scared to death of Offset. He don't want to have another run-in in the mall with the QC goons like he did. Remember, Everyday Struggle was actually really entertaining before QC told him that he wasn't allowed to talk about their artists anymore. And that's when you saw him really simmer down, brought the temperature down a whole lot. But, I mean, if you're, if you're Tasha Kay and you went all the way to Jersey to do an interview that when I talked to her, she was real happy about the interview. And he's not dropping it because he's scared of Cardi B. Like, what kind of? is that I, that's not why i got in the podcast game i didn't get in the podcast game to be running around acting like a whole button you acting like a and nobody respects it your fans are losing interest because you're not keeping it real man now more than ever it's important that we support real independent media because as you can see even a podcast like the joe button podcast which for a time was a symbol of independent hip-hop media it has been co-opted by the deep state, Cardi B and Offset, the deep state. And, uh, you know, there's no coming back from that. For me, it's kind of disappointing, you know. Not only is this guy, like, setting his hosts up against each other and trying to create all this internal drama, basically copying No Jumper. But now he's scared to drop, like, real legitimate interviews with powerful black creators. Man, that's a sad situation. I don't even know what to say about it. The great have fallen, and 22 is on the rise. So if you want some real content, you know where to go. YouTube.com slash No Jumper. Go check out that Tasha K interview. Joe Budden was too made to drop his. Boom! Ooh! Look at Adam22 supporting black women. Black woman. <laughs> Adam, Adam out here supporting the black sisters, okay? The blue-haired, lion, black sisters. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all saw Tasha K going off on Joe Button because she's mad that he will not drop her podcast. And now you got Adam22 coming to her defense. Now, let's be honest. Adam is doing this because he already got a beef with Joe Button. And y'all see this all the time. What do they say? The enemy of my enemy is my friend <laughs> okay so whenever he see somebody else going at one of his ops he gonna jump in and say oh no yeah 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 that's wrong oh oh joe how could you not to mention tasha was up there at adam 22 studio and to me, she's trying to claim that well, the interview I gave Joe Budden was so much more different than the interview I gave to that white boy, Adam. She was really belittling you. <laughs> it's like she was like she basically said, I gave the white boy the mediocre interview, but I gave Joe Budden the real interview. And if I was you, I would take some offense to that. Cause why don't she feel like your platform is worthy of a groundbreaking viral interview. The way she tried to make it is she went in Joe Button's place and, and you know, showed out and wowed out and said it would be a crazy interview if he, if he dropped it. But she was calm at No Jumper because she don't respect No Jumper the same way she respect Joe Button. And I'm not saying this to go at Adam. I'm just saying... Did you see that, Adam? Did you see her talking smack about No Jumper? Because I feel like that's what she was really trying to do and trying to say she's only on the side of other black people. She's pulling that tribalism card because she can't get her way. I think academics said the same thing. She want to make it a black thing because Joe won't put her podcast out 
and basically belittle your platform. So I don't know why you feel like you need to go to bat for her. Also, Adam is a troll. And I want y'all to really take that in. Adam is a troll. He is not serious about 99% of the stuff he say. I honestly think he, he feels like this video was funny. I don't even really think he's taking his beef with Joe that serious. But at the same time, just the fact that he's the owner of No Jumper, we have to kind of take it into consideration and address it like it's serious. But just judging by Adam's life, he is a very lackadaisical, relaxed, uh, I might even use the term down-to-earth type of guy. I don't think he takes his job as serious as a Tasha K or a Joe Budden. He's just in it to have fun and make money. Just like the porn stuff. He does that because it's fun. And he's, he can make money off of it. But at the same time, I think he does it more because he enjoys it, not because it's his main source of income, right? So I always got to look at stuff he says with like, you know, a, 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 a little bit less energy than the average person in media because he's coasting. The thing that people like me academics joe budden and tasha k and obviously i'm nowhere near any of these people's success so don't get it twisted but we all kind of take this a little more serious than adam 22 he just i'm not gonna say he got lucky he worked but i think now he's just coasting man and he's just having a good time he's not really in it to change the culture you know what i mean so i don't know um I still think it's funny. I, I still think it's entertaining, but I, I think Adam need to slow his brakes on Tasha K because honestly, I really feel like she'll backstab him too, given the opportunity. And I think Adam does know that, but he gonna ride it for the moment and try to go viral and create moments. That's what he's trying to do. He's That's all he's about right now. He's creating moments. Even the stuff with Lena, you see how I really didn't bring that up but he does stuff to create moments, and you got to give him his credit. He's good at doing that. So it is what it is. Um, I really don't think Joe will respond and go hard at Adam. I think he'll just be his regular sarcastic, jokey self, and he won't pay this too much attention. But um, just very interesting, man, on a Sunday, you know. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace. Man, that's a sad situation. I don't even know what to say about it. The great have fallen, and 22 is on the rise. So if you want some real content, you know where to go. YouTube.com slash no jumper. Go check out that Tasha K interview. Joe Budden was too much made to drop his. Boom.